Good morning. How are you? It's good to see you. It's a beautiful... It's not really that beautiful, but it, it could be a beautiful day. What is this? Hustler Hollywood. Probably just a place where they teach you to hustle in life and really get after it to accomplish your goals. Just kidding. I think it's an underwear store. Gross. Pew. Hotel rooms are so dark. I somehow have a dark hotel room and half the walls in here are windows. Perfect. I kind of left it a mystery as to where I was yesterday. We're going to start giving you hints. Well, I guess Hustler Hollywood is probably the first hint. It's not Hollywood. Here's the first hint. BFG backpack on my bed. That's my name. But it's out of focus. Why would it not be in... <laughs> Got it. Let's open up the bag and see what's inside it. Perfect. Where I'm going... I'm going to need one of these. Oh. Yeah, I feel better already. Oh, the perfect size too. Socks, don't mind if I do. Emergency poncho. Actually, I've checked the weather and I think we're gonna need that. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> get, get out of here, not needing that. Oh yeah. Okay, ready to go. Oh wait, I'm missing one thing. A lot of you guys have said you're not a fan of my, my facial hair. I don't know why, because it's great. But I kind of been doing this to hide the fact that I'm growing out my mustache. Because where we're going, you don't need facial hair. But you do need mustaches. Halfway there. Mmm. Mmm. Meredith would love this too. One second. This looks edible. Get to you in a second. Yeah! The mustache is back. I'm back. I feel like I'm finally me again. This is the facial hair that... Meredith won't let me have, but Meredith isn't here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I am heading down to Ensenada, Mexico with the BF Goodrich crew for the Baja 1000, which is the craziest truck race ever. They get trophy trucks and all kinds of other vehicles and they race a thousand miles across the desert, treacherous terrain. This will be my third time to be there for the Baja 1000. Um, I went last year in 2018, and I also went two years before that in 2017. And I needed a mustache and sideburns so that I get respect from the racers down there. If you don't have some sort of trashy facial hair, you are dirt to the off-road race community. Not the sort of weather you would expect in San Diego, California. It's supposed to be sunny and beautiful here, and it's like just rainy and dreary and nasty. We're about to jump in the Jeep and drive down to Mexico. We're gonna go across the border, and we're gonna go down to Ensenada, uh, Baja, California. So Ensenada, Mexico, it's on the Baja Peninsula, and that is where the Baja 1000 starts and finishes. They leave and they go a thousand miles big, looping all around Baja, and then they come back. Well, hopefully they make it back. A lot of times the trucks don't make it. Most trucks don't finish the Baja 1000. They usually break down or rip a wheel off or cartwheel or whatever and they don't finish. So that, it's just such a crazy race. I mean, these guys are driving like a hundred plus across desert, across sand. And I, the first time I went, I actually rode in it. I navigated for a little bit. It was, it was too much. I was like, man, this is just too dangerous for me who has little kids. And I was like, I'm just going to go watch for now. I love it. It's so fun. It's just like the manliest thing ever, just watching these thousand horsepower trucks ripping across the desert. But I was like, I just need to watch. Matt, your dad, just watch. So we are just going to watch the Baja 1000. Well, we're gonna do some other stuff too. But the main reason is for the big truck race. So we're about to head out, and I think actually it is gonna be like this kind of weather in Ensenada for the next couple days too, which I've never seen. It's always been hot and dry and dusty, and, and it looks like it's gonna be a little rainy and cold. I'm interesting to see the Baja 1000 with muddy tracks instead of dusty tracks. Time will tell. Let's go Jeep up. Jumping in the Jeep Rubicon with the BFG KM3s. Oh look, there's Asta Cruiser. <laughs> What's up, dude? And our old good buddy Thomas from What's BFG. <gasps> I missed you, Thomas. I miss you more. Do you like my mustache? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what up? <laughs>
You might be my friend. You be my friend. You're a cute puppy. You're a cute puppy who recently had a bunch of puppies. I can tell. You come home with me. You come home with me. Hey, Meredith, can we get a puppy? I'll take good care of her. I'll feed her every day. I'll spay her. Yeah, you need to be spayed for sure. Yes, you do. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> one for me, one for you. Oh, nice, <laughs> we just had some lunch over at this restaurant. And now we're gonna go take the Jeeps out on part of the Baja 1000 course. Um, so it actually is in a couple days. And so they're pre-running today, they're practicing, they're out there running the course, trying to figure out where the jumps are, where the holes are, where the dangerous parts are so they can mark those on their maps. So we're just gonna go out there, see what it's like to some places I've never been on the Baja track. So I'm really excited to go see what the terrain looks like on these spots. I've been on parts of it before, but this will all be new for me and we just get to drive the Jeeps, try out the tires and play on the Baja 1000 course. And I'm taking a dog with me. That would be cool. I wonder if I could, nah, I probably shouldn't. I'm getting ready to get a new dog. I'm thinking about it. Well, actually, I really want one. I already said I would do it. Meredith, though, she's like, I'm not ready yet. But she said something the other day that made me think she might be getting close to being ready, too. We miss our dozy. Okay, you can get in the car. Get in the Jeep. Go get in the Jeep. Get in the Jeep. Come on. Get in the Jeep. Right here. Load up. Load up. Load up. Come on. Get in the Jeep. Get in there. Get in the Jeep. She won't get in. You're a good girl. It's like, Bye. It's a trap. Bye, I love you. Thomas, can we take a dog home? <laughs> mustache like that, I don't think any dog will get in the <laughs> <laughs> She loves me. I don't think so. Let's call her and She's my doggy. She definitely had some babies recently. What would you call them? Get in there, get in there. Come on, do it. Do it, get in there. Come on, it's happening. <laughs> so the course is wet. This is the first time that I've ever seen water out here. And usually dust is a huge factor at the Baja 1000. And the dust is super minimal right now. But now the big factor is gonna be washouts and big puddles that were coming up. It is muddy, which is pretty cool. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's starting to rain again, so the course is going to get even wetter. And I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow as well, so just gonna keep coming. <laughs> this is a deep one. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I bet that shot like 10 feet high. We see a bobcat. There's a bobcat running over there. I would also adopt a bobcat, just saying. We're gonna go ahead and switch drivers now, so I'm about to jump for the seat. Look at that lineup, though. Man, seeing this raptor out here makes me want my raptor out here. I think that'd be so cool. And they do a lot of raptor trips down in Baja. I've never taken mine, but God, the raptor's like, it's owning out here. Mexico. Meredith, uh, we don't need to talk about it. I've already made my decision and my decision is final. My foot is down. The character family is moving to Mexico. We'll live right there in a van by the ocean. And we'll live happily ever after. Asta Cruiser, you thinking about a new build on the channel or what? You need that. <laughs> we are on the race course right now and 
remember there's gonna be trophy trucks driving. Trophy trucks don't have windshields. So every one of these puddles that's throwing muddy water up on our windshield, they will be getting hit in the face with muddy water while they're going like 100 miles an hour. When we're like, oh, let's turn our windshield wipers on, they're gonna be freezing, soaking wet, and getting hit in the face with muddy water the whole time. Epic. Definitely the first time I've ever seen that in Baja. Do a stop at. It's so awesome. Yeah, Baja 1000. This is what I expected. <laughs> My music. Busted. Many guns. Oh, oh, <laughs> That's our guys. They got pulled over because they ran a red light because we were in a big caravan and they were trying to keep up so we can get lost in Mexico. So they went ahead and just ran the red light. Cop was there, pulled them over. They were like, sorry. And he said, they gave him 20 bucks. He said, you can go. It's actually pretty easy. I mean, think about it. If that was in the US and they got pulled over and he wrote him a ticket, that's like 150 bucks and you have to like go do paperwork and like it's it's a hassle and it's more money. So really like they ran a red light, paid 20 bucks, it took about two minutes and the cop let him go. I think the Mexicans are onto something. That seems like a pretty good deal. <sighs> I want that dog. I named her Little Mama. <laughs> I do really want a dog. So anyway, let me know uh, if you think we should get a dog in the comments below. I wonder what you guys are going to say. Thanks for watching Off The Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Whoa. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number... Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mare. <laughs>